fragile ceasefire between Israel and Hamas is in its second day and has already been tested. Palestinians and Israeli police briefly clashed at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque Friday with security forces firing tear gas. The 11-day battle killed more than 200 people, most of them in Gaza, some children. It also left large-scale destruction. President Biden says a two-state solution is the best way to end the fighting. Meanwhile, the United Nations has approved more than $18 million in humanitarian relief efforts. Holly Williams is in Gaza this morning. Holly, good morning. Good morning. While the conflict was still raging, the Israeli government would not allow us into the Gaza Strip, they said, for our own security. Now that we're finally here, we can show you the scale of the destruction. Buildings literally torn off their foundations by airstrikes. And over here, you can see people sifting through the rubble for their belongings. In Gaza, with the ceasefire holding for now, Palestinians are taking stock of what they lost in this conflict. It's opened new wounds in a place already worn down by poverty. Maha Nasser told us she's mourning family friends who once lived where there's now only rubble. All my friends, this family, my friends. Dad, mom, sisters, brothers, all. Hamas, the group that controls the Gaza Strip, labelled a terrorist organisation by the US, celebrated the ceasefire as a victory. They fired over 4,000 rockets at Israeli towns and cities, killing 13. Though Israel's Iron Dome air defence system shot down most of the projectiles. Israel's retaliation was to pummel the overcrowded Gaza Strip, where they have no defence. The Israeli government claims it did unprecedented damage to Hamas, killing more than 200 militants while doing its best to avoid civilians. But officials here say nearly 70 of those killed were children. Five-month-old baby Omar lost his four brothers and mother in a strike. My heart is breaking, his father Muhammad told us. What guilt does this baby have? Muhammad denies that he's a militant and could have been the target for Israel, though we can't independently confirm that. There are two versions of what happened in this conflict, and the ceasefire, which is precarious, does nothing to fix the real problem which is two peoples fighting over the same piece of land, which they both call home. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Holly Williams, Gaza.